Yeah, how are you free? And notice it's not how free are you? It's how are you free? What do you do in an average day that the government doesn't touch? And the answer to that question is almost nothing. The common claim is that the average American commits three felonies a day. It wouldn't surprise me at all. It's not because we don't want to obey the law, it's because the law has become so complex that we don't even know what it is anymore. The solution that Congress came up with was the Federal Register, issued every single day in which agencies would publish any new regulations. America was founded very clearly on the concept of negative rights. And negative rights, the, the common parlance, is freedom from. You are free from. And what are you free from? You're free from governmental intrusion into your own life. The negative right is the right not to have something done to me. When people want to affect a change in the United States, they want to affect that change at the highest level possible. So as a matter of practical politics, as a matter of tactics, the smart move is to go right to the highest level he can hope to get to and affect the change there. There's nothing that will save more lives in this country than instituting a universal background check system. What we find is that the Founding Fathers designed a government purposefully to be extraordinarily inefficient. I've been working for seven years now to get this thing closed. What's the most efficient form of, of government? Well, if you're looking for efficiency and effectiveness, there's only one answer, and it's dictatorship. When you look at government of, by, and for the people, well, justice is the primary concern. How do you achieve that? Well. It has to take into account, on the one hand, what the people want, and on the other hand, what's best for the people. But who is qualified to decide what is best for them? That, that's a good question. Tell me, in the course of your average day, what you do that is not regulated by the government. Because from the minute you wake up on your regulated mattress, and you walk into your regulated bathroom, you go down to your kitchen and you drink your regulated coffee, you go to work in your regulated car and your regulated roads, everything you do is regulated by the government in some way, shape, or form. Natural resources are our property. We have this, this idea somehow that because lots of people use them, they should belong to everyone. What it really means is it should belong to no one. The question we have here is one of ongoing sustainability. When the United States was formed, we were looking at roughly three and a half million people. And that was quite a large number at the time. Well, we're at 350 million or so now, a third of a billion. Can we still participate to the degree necessary to involve ourselves in the project of self-governance? It's an open question.